Welcome to the stream. Uh, it's uh, it's already eight o'clock. Uh, I was watching a friend stream Wing Commander Three, Heart of the Tiger, uh, starring Mark Hamill uh, in several full motion video cutscenes. Uh, pretty damn amazing. Good times. But yeah, oh, very cool. Um, let's, uh, let's, I bronzed all of the, by bronze I mean half sunned, all of the hunting grounds on Tuesday night. On Tuesday night. So I, um, I don't have, I mean, I could go back and try to full sun the ones that I don't have, or we could go to something else. So I think something else is, is going to win out. Uh, as to what that something else is going to be, I'm not sure yet because it's still loading the game. Excuse me. Here we go, we're in Meridian. Let's have a look. Um... 101, okay, there's a couple of things here that we can sell, so let's go to that. We probably could have done that last time, but I think I was a bit distracted It's not the word I'm searching for. Yep, I put on my... I just meant to take that left turn through this market. There's the guy I'm looking for. I do love that slide into the uh, right scavenger light. Outlaw light. Still need that rock breaker lens. Little crazy. Oh, I have some luminous braidings I can try and turn. Ninety five. The most common thing. Yep, yeah, sure is. All right, well that's that's fine. Okay. All right, now I can sell some of that stuff back to him. Fifty one thousand metal shards. We've spent thirty metal shards on um, on repairing machines. Uh, quests. I have claimed my half sun reward. Shadow sling. 
uh, this one. A slightly, a slightly better blast sling, rather than a, um... That's the shadow sling. That's the shadow blast sling. But it looks like a shadow sling, rather than a blast sling. Come on, game! Give it the same icon for crying out loud. Don't make me confuse this one with this one. It's even the same picture, but it's, it's this weapon instead of that weapon. It replaces this weapon. Okay, that's, that's kind of stupid. Uh, quests to do. We've got basically nothing here. We've got absolutely nothing here. Done, done. Lots of hunting grounds left to do. This is far and away our poorest showing. So maybe we could do this again? That's finished. That... Loot shell walker crates. In... That much time? 90 seconds. S 65 seconds. I think it took me 10 minutes. I really think it took me 10 minutes to get those four shell walker crates. I have no idea how I'm meant to do that. That one's finished. This one, yeah, okay, we, uh, we got the, the, uh, the Ravager cannon and the, we got the, we tricked the Ravel, we uh, overrode the Ravager and it killed some watchers for us uh, inside of two minutes. Uh, we overrode a Thunderjaw and got it to kill two Ravagers inside of 2 minutes 30, but not 2 minutes. Could have been a little faster. Uh, it took us a long time to kill the Thunderjaw. A long time. Um... But yeah, I, I, yeah, so we're sort of done. And there, and there, and there. All we really have is this main quest. Uh, which is go here and do that thing. So let's do that, I guess. Oh, and go to the frozen north. It's a long travel that we're taking, so the loading screen is taking a long time. Okay, here we are. I mean, we'd better save, because... Yep, hi. And yeah, we can just waltz into the palace. And they'll, they'll just let us back in here. I know we were in here for a meeting earlier. Uh, and now we're... Now we're not. Um... I said to meet her at a green tent down in the camp. Might be worth a visit. Uh, we already did that. We, we did that quest already. <clears throat> you know what, I'm just gonna... That is the first time I have seen Aloy not just go, oh yeah, this is the bit that I need to be cool at. No. 
but it's hard not to feel a little um, jealous. Herbs for us to that collect. Woman. That woman said to meet her at a green tent down in the camp. Yeah, and we, we already did it. We, we, we did that quest. There we go. Well, I mean, I guess technically we could have just jumped down from that's, I think that's where we fell off the thing. So we could have just jumped down that way, I guess, but. Not right now, it says. Oh. I'm heading down. Busted our way in. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence. Oh, and death. well, we are descending all the way down. We're not getting back up again. Year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And, voila, for her. All the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Yeah. Before I tend to scan. Yeah, you're not wrong. Genetic Hello. profile confirmed. It's us. Entry authorized. Oh, no, it's updated its Not database function. since last Not time. Function. Not Are you function. kidding me? You don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. Everything. That will draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. Oh, okay. Last I checked, I was the one whisking my life down here. Yes, fine. Now, will you please get moving? There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. Every time it's, oh, we're in a hurry and we don't have much time and blah, blah, blah. Um, we never actually need to worry about that. There's some lights, there's some more lights. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. We found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. Uh, this morning's unfortunate incident with Dr. Popovich is another example of reception's need for additional support. We appreciate that Zero Dawn is an immensely complicated project, but as the staff who serve on the front line, we're tired of being neglected. As we have already requested, we need human translators. Security staff, uh, and dermal sedatives. Oh, wow. Most of the candidates are reasonably calm and well behaved, but we need help handling the exceptions to that rule. Wow. Oh, there it 
please. We need support too. From reception staff. Continues to require additional support managing Zero Dawn candidates from the Rabbit's facility. Men are many are frightened or confused, some are highly agitated. These are not the sort of persons who are accustomed to having information withheld from them. At minimum, we need human translators and mild sedatives for the extreme cases. Any and all support would be welcome. Perhaps you could start by responding to one of these emails. Wow. We're in a bunker, so all of the herbs should be plus 24. That seems to be the way it works. Grateful for it. Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. In a smaller room. Now, it wants us to go that way, so we are going to look over here. Restock or else. For the fifth time, please restock the lounge's selection of herbal teas. If I have to listen to one more egghead throw attention because we're out of the organic cucumber, mint or blackberry sage varietals, I'm going to lose it. Please respond, and this time no attempts in a teapot or steep demands jokes. Quality puns. Soundproofing. Would it be possible to improve the soundproofing between VR1 and the lounge area? Most of the candidates stay quiet during the presentation, but the ones who scream or sob can be plainly heard by candidates waiting their turn in the lounge. Oh. Please proceed into viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit. Well, I guess this is viewing room one. Alright, oh, there's a door we can't open yet. Initiating playback. Hey! I was just about to loot that. To Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors. The Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program. The technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague. If Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason Maybe. I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them. And they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program. And it will not save us. Nothing will save us. Here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Oh shit. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, and yet. the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. And we don't have a test. We've got 16, 16 months. months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. 
My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? Good question. One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. And yet, here we are. Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. So, a contingency plan. Oh well. Sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. Well, or did it? Yeah, that's the one we just saw. Oh, you can replay it. Or read the transcript. So that could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. Oh. I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. I can't leave until I've uh, finished speaking, apparently. Cascades. They got in. Through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Two? Counselor Guidelines 1. Candidates must be allowed to ask questions and be given the necessary time to fully absorb the information they've received. It's important to be aware that candidates have just been exposed to triggers for several mental and severe mental and emotional trauma. Do not assume silence or outward calmness indicates acceptance. It's essential to stress that all other options for combating the Pharaoh Plague and preserving the continuation of human life have been considered and found unworkable. Communicate this fact calmly but clearly and firmly. Familiarise yourself with data on the catastrophic environmental impact of nuclear engagements versus the swarm, addendum B1, and unfeasibility of maintaining life in orbital, lunar or undersea structures, uh, C1, C2 or C3 so that you can counter candidates' objections in depth. If a candidate asks for time alone to review supplementary information, allow this without hesitation. Be sure to inform security personnel so the candidate can be monitored for attempted self-harm. Candidates should only be cleared to proceed to presentation two if you believe their mental state is sufficiently stable. Note that real-time support will be available via your focus. Security and medical crisis teams are something, something, something. Interesting, so they all had focuses. Or foci, I guess. The sun has never touched this place. He's looking the other way. And now he's going this way. I'm done! Am I done? There you are. I don't know how they saw me from... I don't know how he saw me from around that corner. Because he was definitely around the corner.
Well, I could use two of those and get back up to full. I have meat, so I can... Crafting potions. That's five of each. That's... 10 total, that's 15 total. Although, I have more bony meat than anything else. I wonder if I could use a health boost potion I just got. Wrong button. Does it actually heal me? I don't think it does. I'll take this. It's not what I wanted. What I wanted is to loot this corpse. That's what I want. Interview Brad Ander. Who previously worked for Faro Automated Systems. On the Jari Line self replication routines. I came here thinking this was a, a rendition. When your people took me, I, I thought, about time. Cancels. Want to discuss? Oof. So, Mama, real serious. Not just Texas bubble serious, Pentecostal serious. <laughs> Favorite chapter? Revelations. Now, I didn't always understand her on account of all that speaking in tongues and such, but when she did use her words, it was always end times this and the lake of fire that on kind of sinful lifestyles. Speaking of which, mind if I smoke? A tobacco cigarette. Sorry, darling. My taste run classic. Compliments to your team tracked me down. Been a price on my head 18 months now. Sterling Malky was me, don't mind admitting. Been plenty of snakesters chasing the bounty too. But I kept the zigging to their zag. How'd you finger me? I believe Dr. Sobek listed you as an alpha candidate. Priority snatch and grab. Always suspected she had a little thing for me. Hey. Hey. I don't suppose you got real coffee in this place. You know, blood coffee? Conflict cappuccinos? Mr. Tate, I'm clearing you to proceed. Just go. <sighs> Ooh. There is some mistake. I don't understand why I was brought here. Why would you show me these things? I know that there's already a lot to take in. In the waiting area, I was seated with a Nobel laureate in biophysics and a monk, I think. He spoke neither English nor Mandarin. It is very strange. And General Harris? What was he talking about? The robot swarm? The pharaoh plague? I understand it is terrible. But it really cannot be stopped? Why tell us this? There are people in Shanghai. My friends, my family. They have joined Operation Enduring Victory already. It is for nothing? We will all die? No, We're going it's not to be for nothing. Able to answer some of these questions. You were told. I just want to know why I am here. It doesn't make sense to me. You were brought here because of your skill set. No, that can't be right. I am an art historian. I know Dutch masters, Japanese calligraphy, uh, Gerhard Richter. What does that matter now? Look, uh, let's cut the 
ministry. You're building a colony ship. It's obvious. And it's not gonna fly. I mean, literally. Remember the Odyssey? That multinational heap of space junk that's been in graveyard orbit since 57? That went nowhere real slow. And you have to get somewhere real fast. I, do you have any idea the immensity of the challenge to prep a new colony ship in time? To be clear, I'm not a worker on the project. Do you even understand how few people it could save? The whole generation ship concept is, is not gonna happen. It's the first thing you'd abandon in favor of embryonics. Uh, for that kind of storage we're talking, a lot of bulk, a lot of people on that thing, all right? If you could try to remain calm. You people are crazy if you think you're getting off this rock. No one's... Did I just go around in a big fucking circle? I just went around in a big circle! Ugh. Fine. Oh. Shit, I nearly missed that one. I'm sure you now understand the urgency of why we brought you here, Ms. Okilo. Captain Okilo. Captain. Are you trying to thank me for not resisting? I believe we could negotiate a diplomatic solution. When it came to my country's lithium, it was always a swarm that would be sent to negotiate. Metallurgic International, U.S. Robot Command. The markings changed, but the robots were the same. You've had considerable experience in human robot conflict. Elizabeth Solbeck. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will Here's cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet... See, this doesn't sound world. like Ashley this Birch. Is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. Uh, it even has AI in the middle of it. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. Hephaestus! And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a and fully Hades. automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, sixteen how months. It doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about, and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the Pharaoh robots for good. Oh, how Gaia okay. Will not just build but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stocks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, 
How not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help 315 me, years. We can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. It's a bold plan. No wonder uh, Pharaoh was like, you're kidding me, this is your answer? Get out of here. I mean, sort of. Did this for life, for us. But why Hades then? If it was part of Gaia, how did it end up in the wreckage of a feral robot? Why does it want to kill me? And Apollo, the archive of knowledge. What happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead. Maybe they do. Oh, it looks like I've missed a uh, missed an interview. I'm glad I went to check my crafting again. Scientist. A male counselor. All Excellent. the other counselors have been the same female. Just stating your name. What were you thinking about, Doctor? Nothing the general said. Not really. I was on the Syzygy East response team in 2051, just after the second earthquake compromised the reactor. I still dream about it after all these years. The red zone spreading on the imaging slowly, so slowly, like a hand opening its fingers. Your involvement in that event is why you were asked for by name. Really? That's interesting. Because nothing worked. Nothing could grow there again. It was a catastrophic failure. But the red zone is a blip compared to global scale biomass reduction. The biosphere and hydrosphere will collapse, render the Earth uninhabitable long before the robots finish us. Enduring victory can't buy time against that. So, you'd better show me what Zero Dawn really is. Oh, yeah, we're about to. Make your selection. You are now in possession of information regarding the true nature and purpose of Project Zero Dawn, classified far above top secret. As such, we regret that you cannot be allowed to leave this facility. There are three options available to you at this point. Please consider each carefully. Trained counsellors are standing by to assist you in making your choice. Participation. Indefinite detention. Medical euthanasia. Yikes. Counsellor Guidelines 2. It's vitally important that candidates choose to participate in Project Zero Dawn voluntarily and knowingly without additional coercion and without value judgment on the part of the counsellor. Confirm for candidates that they were selected due to their skill sets and accomplishments. Emphasize that their dedicated participation in Zero Dawn will increase the project's chances of success. Frame participation in Zero Dawn as an opportunity to respond actively in the face of an overwhelming threat. Candidates may question the fairness of their selection, validate such obje objections as normal, even admirable responses, emphasize the value of the candidate's expertise to the future, not just of humanity, but terrestrial life as a whole. Likewise, candidates may balk at the morality of extending their lifespans and those of loved ones beyond zero day. Validate their hesitation, acknowledge that while the reward of Elysium is not fair, it will be earned, if possible, 
uh, sorry, it will be earned. If possible, redirect their ethical misgivings towards greater commitment to the project. When candidates challenge the plausibility of Project Zero Dawn, permit them to review Dr. Sobek's presentation as many times as they wish and allow access to supplemental articles uh, G01 through P20. G1 through P20. Allow them to suspend the interview to fully process this documentation. A significant minority of candidates will elect for medical euthanasia. It is important to receive this decision kindly and without judgment. Advise them of the 48 hour waiting period, that's not without judgment, uh, during which counsellors will be available to discuss their decision. Emphasise that, that euthanasia will not occur without repeated consent when the procedure is scheduled to take place. No one will be euthanised against his or her will. Candidates who elect indefinite detention must be informed that they have 48 hours to reverse this decision, after which the decision will be final which is basically the same as medical euthanasia. You've got 48 hours to change your mind and then we're going to lock you up, basically, um, where you can't talk to anyone. And so you might as well be medically euthanized. Where is the... It says I'm still missing something in here, but I can't see. Maybe I'm not. Let me have another look. No, it still says I'm missing something in here. Well, something is... Oh, there it is. So. Of course Brad's so second quick. interview. To be given the opportunity to rebuild what I... Uh, the, the, the damage that I, well, I... I don't feel worthy of it, but, but I, I will do it, absolutely. I want to stress that this was never about your culpability. Uh, it, it is to me. Dr. Sobek, Margo, they were smart to get out of Pharaoh when they did, but, but not one of us took it as a warning sign. They, they just told ourselves they weren't cut out for the BTRI cabals. That's the, the, the better than rapid innovation. A, a better at competing, better than the next guy, a, a better killing machine. I think it's just amazing how a century and a half of science fiction did nothing to swerve our species from the path of doom. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that life. I mean, I, I will work hard, twice as hard to earn this, but for my family to have a place in Elysium... It's gonna take a while to get through these interviews. I never thought I... that there could be... Uh, atonement. If you're still nauseous, no, the inhibitors have kicked in. I can't feel the back of my tongue. I wish I could tell you I'd believe in this, but the damage is too great, too extensive, too complete. Like she went for euthanasia. To Dr. Sobek's work at Miriam? No, no, life doesn't always find a way to keep going. <laughs> nice Sometimes reference. Sometimes it never comes back, like Syzygy East, like the Congo. Like Timo. Like us. That's our reward? A buried city full of terminal patients waiting out the clock? You grow old together with your loved ones in safety. I don't have loved ones. I suppose I could start a family? I'm afraid not. All inhabitants of Elysium will be medically sterilized. Yikes. <laughs> A habitat capable of sustaining a starting yeah, base that's of fair enough. individuals for up to a hundred years is a huge challenge, Dr. Albert. If the population grows instead of diminishes, everyone will be dead inside 30 years. I knew it. I just couldn't bring myself to say the words. I'm sorry. Finish it. Medical euthanasia. I want no part of this. I just want it over. I see. 48 hour waiting Protocons period. require a 48 hour waiting period after which. Oh, that's the end of it. Is he to make sure I behave this time? Yes. Security, for your protection. Would you like to discuss how you're feeling? Sure. I'll tell you. Ooh. I'm surprised. Men, if not me, and it's flabbergasted. Like my own man would say, flabbergasted. That vein pumping in his forehead. I thought 
I thought you people were just completely unprepared for space flight project. But now I can oh, see it's, it's the worse. stranded shackles. Much worse. Sobek is a total fantasist, a, a dangerous it's fantasist. Three out of three. He's kind of blue skying. It's <gasps> Jesus. I'm sorry we wasted each other's time. I'm ready to leave now. I'm afraid that's not possible. <laughs> Everything you're talking about here isn't possible. I recommend you read the documents regarding your options. I've seen enough. I'm getting out of here. Oh, what are you... You don't... Uh, get your hands off me! Oh, so there's nothing in here? I guess I'll go back in again. Now this thing is dangerous. Yeah, this one here is really frustrating me. So there's another thing. I can't remember what it was. Uh, but we haven't, we haven't, this isn't the last bunker. There's the hole in the sky that we found, uh, couldn't, couldn't find the entrance to. Ooh, I've got a feeling that the third, um, power cell isn't here. Uh, that could be awkward. Intruder! Get her! Oh yeah. Whatever you want. They all had heavy weapons. Yep, they all had fire starters. They all had their own fire starters. I'm like, I'm so glad I bothered carrying that around with me for the last two rooms. Try me now. And now mine's full again. I enjoyed schooling them, but maybe I went in too hard on this poor counselor. She was cute, and just going down a checklist after all. Couldn't expect her to see how ridiculous Zero D's ambitions are. God's own budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor. Pump. 
Uh, I just wanted to check the, uh... I just wanted to check the map and I cut off his, uh... Oh well. What a shame. This is the way we came in. Exactly proved ourselves to be great custodians in the past few thousand years. So the idea of a reconstituted biosphere. Well, oh, my I'm legs are so itchy. A complete horror show. We have no right to take a best guess at this stuff. But the alternative? Nothingness. For there to have been all this and then nothing. And with Charles Ronson running the show, I respect him. He's got a passion to it. He's hot-blooded. So I said I'll do it. I'll put my all into this, literally. When the project is done, I'll take the medical option, thank you. The counselor said I might change my mind. I told him that he didn't know me very well then. For life's sake, I'll do the dirty work. But I want no part of this pathetic, attenuated future on offer. I'm an outdoors man. Another one of these. Never did like the feel of <laughs> solid state lighting on my skin. And a wee bit of a claustrophobe, anyway. Are you done? Hey. I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker. Everything's in reverse, hey? Maybe there's a storage area nearby. Diana shows requested required settings for nearby hollow locks. Uh. Left, up, left, down, right. <clears throat> now is it reverse or opposite? I'm going to need to drop this. Is it left up? I'm nowhere near that hollow lock. All right, so let's try. <coughs> let's let's try reverse. So left up left down right. No, all right. So, right, down, right. It's actually not too far away. Up, left. Well, that's what it is. Now well, I'm very confused. Ah, oh, maybe this one has to be backwards and this one is actually... Ah, oh, well, shit. That's... That's frustrating. So that one was just follow the letters. <clears throat> I mean, I have two power thingies. I could just get this open.
Found one. Looks intact. Oh, well. Oh. Cool. Install a riddle. That should do the trick. Now let's get that door open. Right now, so this is reverse. So this is up, right, down. Left up. No, all right. So it's not reverse order. Up, left, down, right. So which makes it backwards. Which means I need to switch the the up and down ones and not the left and right ones. So it's not backwards, and it's not opposite, so, I mean, is it just... Is it just as is again? Is the whole backwards thing a lie? No, okay. So... Reverse and backwards. That's cool. It's reverse this and backwards. All right, I'm missing any data points. Yes, I sure am. I'm missing a data point. Um, whereabouts though? Okay, let me just drop that there. So it should be around here-ish somewhere. Not showing up on the compass. Should be showing up on the compass. But it's not showing up on the compass.
still not showing up on the compass. Oh, it would be cool if I knew where this was. That's where I found the shackles. <clears throat> right, so that's that bit. It's got to be somewhere in this area. <coughs> ah, he said. Not really knowing either way. Glitchy there, but it's alright. Okay, so this is presentation room two. Hello, I am Elizabeth Soback. You may remember me from such films as, um... Why We Can't Let You Leave. And The Terrible Truth. About what Pharaoh did. Oh, it's a... It's a wall door. It looks like... Okay, let's back that way. I'm pretty sure it's... Uh... Look, we're off the map. Can we go this way? We sure can. It's not... Yeah. It's not getting us anywhere we haven't been. So you can sneak around that combat bit. I can't believe it's not showing up on the compass. It should be showing up on the compass. Am I missing it showing up on the compass? Let's go all the way down. Oh, I can't, can I? Game won't actually let me go down that way. What if, though, what if I went down this way? I can't, there's a thing there. I mean, there's more map there. I just can't... Maybe it's a uh, non... Non area map, if you know what I mean. 
is this. Zero dawn. It is art in a way. An expression on the grandest scale. But there is so much unfairness. No, we did this one already. That's this one. A voicemail? Ah, oh, the maintenance tech. So, right, it's... Uh, I mean, that makes it a bit harder to tell where it might be then. Maybe it is in the next room, but it's just sort of out of order. Ugh. I, I don't approve, guys. That's the room I was just in, wasn't it? Sure is. Okay. Let me bring my heavy weapon in. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia, it's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? So much for avoiding contact. No, it's locked behind me. Three dudes are dead. I don't know how I'll ever survive. Oh, there's more of them. Oh. There's... There's more of them. Me 
Brothers. Not my favorite. Room's clear. For a moment, anyway. Then get moving. You have to find Gaia. Gaia? I healed up and everything, and I didn't need to. Would have been nice. It would have been better if I'd been able to bring my heavy weapon with me. It's not what I'm trying to do again. Yeah, give me a heavy, give me a heavy weapon on the last, uh, the last wave instead of when I actually need it. It's fine. There's lots of herbs, it's fine. I don't know. Yeah, there's my loot up there. How do I get up there? Oh, look. You know what I'm not seeing? Another uh, data point. That's what I'm not seeing. Right, I'm really, really seeing, not seeing another data point. Uh, which is uh, annoying. It's really quite annoying. Should be another data point around here somewhere. Structural failure prevents access. Oh, stairs. Structural failure prevents access. Oh, it's uh, the tidal, the tidal wave room. Wasn't that one of the? Uh, All right, so that's Apollo. That's oh, okay. I've yeah, just stumbled into the thing that they uh, that they showed me twenty minutes ago. Yeah. There's the mountain. Well, this is a completely separate one. Hello, I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. 
As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Guy with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. A waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not like, just you can lie down on my couch and play this. Oh, wait, hang on. Then it's just a... Uh... Needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. She doesn't have so, fingers. Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual this isn't really working, is it? Real. Gaia's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Leon just, Prize anytime soon. It's sort of a bit soon. cool. But hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes. Time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. Which part? Oh, hey, Cider. It's a little technical at places. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots it makes attack people? Perhaps it loves some form. Oh, did I accidentally the activate this? The derangement. The machines weren't always so angry. True. Mostly they were docile until 10, 15 years ago. Interesting. For years, Hephaestus has been forcing cauldrons to make aggressive machines. I've seen it myself in the cauldrons. Stalkers, ravagers, the Thunderjaw. I sure have. How could it do that? And why? Why indeed? Programming. Hello, I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this- I did not get a, uh... I didn't get a hologram data point for that, and I am a little upset. It's going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots or and lots do of do I need to listen to the whole thing up again? Except after, uh, after activating it. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in Fine, I'll just, I'll just move my blanket. That stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden... Remember in the last one, the, the, the other cauldron designs. where we needed to do the thing, and then there was a thing. We needed to sit through the whole the thing before we got the thing. Yeah, that. From scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. It doesn't so, have too much longer. The Festus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes, time to get started. Let's do this. Let's do this. I did not get anything from that. I am sad. Here's the thing. Full steam ahead. Where are these two then? This is in this... These two... before in cauldrons but of course the birthing places of Gaia's machines
Ooh, a ladder. Hang on. Hang on, there's a dead end corridor with nothing behind it. Let's check that first. Before we drop the ladder. Okay, so this is the fire. Oh, I guess the fire is Prometheus. Really? Can't scan it through the window? Kind of rude. It is actually pretty rude. Oh, cool. I think this is it. Elizabeth Silbeck's office. But it, it's sealed off. There's got to be a way inside. Keep looking. Yeah, can't scan it through the. All right. Keep looking for a way inside this room. I mean, I have a really heavy, heavy spear, and she has a glass uh, eclipse window. Careful now. Oh, I'm glad Aloy noticed there was more Eclipse, because I sure as hell didn't. Um, I'm at full, uh, full all the things. I mean, I could go back and get a Deathbringer gun. Or I could just, you know, shoot them. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Let's uh, let's say that that this is a solid object, and I can't shoot through it. But it seems fair. I can't shoot between those two beams at point blank range. Oh, I'm actually not meant to engage them. That's. Weird. It's very unlike this game. Oh, there we go. There's one of the missing ones. And another hollow projector. Hollow update. There's the other missing one. A copy of the Homer archive from Far Zenith has made itself known as a result. All of Apollo's key deliverables are on schedule. Thanks so much. I am Samina Ebaji. That's great. Until recently, 
I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted Could you, my career I don't know, to the preservation of human be knowledge. Be quiet while I'm trying not to get murdered by the uh, eclipse. Therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. Too much to ask. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically. Alright, well, it looks like I'm engaging these uh, Eclipse after all. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second, the collection and processing of the projected 180 million discrete data entries. 42 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish and Arabic. Third, the transfer and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. And now, the development of the holographic interface and gamified curricula. By which future humans will commune with Apollo, progressively unlocking heuristic learning modules, leveling up. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, how come they all, uh. How come they all noticed me, uh. Unfortunately, I barely even hit them. I know exactly where I am. giving up. I haven't gotten to do yet. Oh, 
I often consider a strike from Bilar. Unfortunately, I'm not sure I'll get a chance to either. Uh, I think I have my stealth armor on, so I don't, I'm not sure how long ago you asked. Oh, two minutes ago. So during this fight. So much for silent strike at all, really. Don't waste my time. I'm going to find you anyway. Come on. He's right here, I'm right here. I bought a thing. Let me use the thing. A chase without end. I have better things to do. No idea what you just said. A chase without end or something? You're not, you're not gonna make me wait. Until you go all the way around again, are you? That's the last of them. One last more. In what should have been a cave of wonders. Look around. See if anything is left. Yeah, there's some uh, herbs and stuff. Is that what you meant? Sobek, please archive this testimonial in Apollo. Cross reference to all mentions of my name and Operation Enduring Victory. My name is General Aaron Harris. From 2060 to 2066, I served as the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the highest ranked Ooh. officer of the United States Ladies? Armed Forces. How about the fact we exist? The tenure of my command includes strategic planning and oversight of Operation Enduring Victory. People should know that. A falsehood perpetrated on the civilian populations in the United States and other nations during the last 14 months of life on this planet. Before the Pharaoh Plague, I did my job and did it well. I was bold and decisive, crafty in political maneuvers. It wasn't an accident that I rose to my position and became the commander of the largest mechanized force ever assembled. But to what end? My only lasting achievement was the extinction of life on Earth. And my one redeeming act, if any, was to delay that extinction by days or weeks. By throwing more death at it. It is my hope that there will be no need for men like me in the world to come. If you are one of the people of that future world, listening to this message, please know that I am sorry. And that I wish you well. Sincerely, Aaron Harris. Well, I don't think I can get up that way. Although I do suspect that Ayla could actually get up there. Uh, if she really wanted to. Welcome to Apollo. The collective memory of the human species. No. No. No, we were already in there. Alright, this is where we started. Okay. Ah, oh, we must be above... ...the room that we were in. Right, so this is Apollo Archive 300. Ah, 
Up. Up. No? Seriously? I can't get climb up the rest of this ladder? Wow. Alright. Bunch of Deathbringer guns. Bunch of fire strikers. They're all the weapons I've uh, left behind. We don't need to be going back this way, but... Alright. not seeing any more, uh... Data nodes. Ah, so, where's that one? That was the one that we were missing earlier. Four or five rooms later. Oh, more stairs, okay. Yeah, here's the ladder that we couldn't get up. It's like, okay. I mean, I thought you wanted me to play the game, but apparently you don't. It's a weird flex, but all right. Failsafe protocol. The ultimate killer app. Now, I know what you're thinking. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function, only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, what the what? Just plum crazy, ain't it? Well, no. Oh, it's it Travis Tate. Reconstituting a biosphere? Gaia may be. Odds are she won't get it right the first time. I mean, imagine your guy, 200. From Travis Tate. Hello, me confounded, Lizzie. Bashcore, anyone who says the old TT codes to Bashcore is straight up lying. And you know it. Oh, Trav, don't have no truck. Yeah, I, I, I just, I don't care. I can't yes, care about that character. You bias for your growing, it's all gone wrong. Alkalines are skyrocketing. Can you first. Uh, yep, yeah, yeah, cool. Uh, isolate guy in a protective code shell, preserving its integrity. Unseat it from command position so Hades can slip into the figurative captain's chair. Work its magic. Yeah. The worst eroding under the lash of superstorms that would have drowned Noah. It's chaos. Spinning top that won't stop water. And what do you do? Archive abuse. Uh, Mr. Tate, this mail concerns Apollo Archive submission something your 666th submission in just five days and oh what a doozy despite earlier warnings for inappropriate materials he chose to submit 265 holographic remasters of acknowledged classics of extreme exploitation cinema allow me to thank you for giving me the pleasure of rejecting your submission thereby consigning your favorite eastern european torture flicks and the elk to the dust heap of oblivion 
Warms my heart to know that I have saved future humanity from the ordeal of experiencing not just one, but all 16 installments of Making a Millipede. Uh, for clarifying a concept that has so long been ambiguous and ethically fraught for archivists such as myself, the definition of obscenity. You have freed me from the subjective quagmire embodied in Judge Potter's famous utterance, I know it when I see it. Thanks to you, I can now apply a single objective criterion. If Travis Tate submitted it, it's obscene. Of course, that means he can troll you by submitting stuff that you'd want to keep, but I will. Uh, perhaps you might invest the time... Ah, oh, I've directed Apollo staff to summarily reject all of your future submissions, sign on Uh, I don't know, you're assigned work? We have one to save after all, or the rest of us do anyway. Like the only way onwards. Another hollow projector. Are these what I what I think they are? Artificial wombs. Machines to spawn a new generation of human beings. I don't know what or who Aluthia is. A supply crate, that's a bit weird. Of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Aluthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Brochard Klein, the Alpha in charge of. Quests. The ectogenic chambers arrived two days ago. I spent 36 hours examining them, poring over technical documentations. I don't know what you had to do to give Far Zenith. I don't know what you had to give Far Zenith in trade to get these chambers. It was worth it. Uh, their embryologists have vaulted past 50 years of technological shortcomings. The risks of stuff that we never heard of. Uh, before I examine these chambers, I consider the Odyssey to be a fool's errand, but if the rest of Far Zenith's technology is at this level, well, a human colony around Sirius doesn't seem so impossible after all. This now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eluthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome, not alter it. A snapshot of human Well, that's something at least. Cradle Servitor. Um, mm, yeah, okay, but... Literally frozen in time. The genetic quintessence of our species. Thank you, Cider. Unmodified. Under my watch, our activities and initiatives will comply with watch. the 2034 close provisions and the 2048 rally accords. Cradle sealed. Aluthia 1 was successfully sealed before the swarm advancing across Xinjiang province could detect it. Ping back from crucial systems is good. Oh, so they're buried around the place. Regards my disputes with the betas over zygote selection. Of course I understand we have limited overhead to run simulations of gene flow. We can, uh, but we can all agree there is margin for refinement in future cradle populations. Uh, donk. Uh, he's not French, so I'm not sure why. Uh, in addition to personally overseeing completion of the Aluthia 2 site inside, now, Namudi, I will formulate and propose a modified zygote selection plan within the week. That seems like a reasonable time frame. Am I full of health potions? Oh wow, so I am. Well, before us are staggering. Yeah, that's where the health potion was. Cradle facilities. 
Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. Well, it's that way nearly there. It was one of them? Yeah. There's only one way to be sure. Yeah, all the another mountain had to be one of them. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. More health potions. Oh, I wonder if I have to go back to all mother. This is going to be pretty light on for cultists. Alright, so this is Elizabeth's office. We're here, we made it! Good job everybody. suggest the safeguard that you should install in me so I don't kill you all. Yeah, yeah, we could trust that. That would benefit from antelope and morphologies. Though capric forms show superior load-bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek, as I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, I've gathered extensive data on the quaternary extinction event. Like it used to hold oh. something. And so your assessment? It got removed. Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet. And yet. I find the loss of megafaunal species unaccountably sad. That they passed forever into oblivion causes me to experience a grief that is difficult to describe. Okay. I mean, no, yes. No, Gaia, you're not. This is good. It's very good. So, was this the thing that Aloy was talking about? Maybe it was holding something when I walked over it. You will undergo it. Brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final statement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect distress. Are you all right? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances. See, this sounds more like Ashley Birch. But all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if? May the odds be ever in your favor. Yeah, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. There are billions dead in fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you, all things. So 
Sorry, I'm just uh, replying to someone on Twitter. data points. Okay, nearly there. Ah, uh, wait, what are we... Trying to get into here. Oh, yeah, we are. Pry open door. That's what I was missing. Did you see it flick the green bunker symbol very quickly? I think this is going to be the end of it. Odyssey has failed. Uh, Far Zenith has informed me that the Odyssey mission has failed. Telemetry indica indicated a catastrophic antimatter containment failure as the drive spun up to depart the solar system. The ship, its crew, its cargo, cargo of zygotes and seeds, its alpha build of Apollo, all were lost. Zero Dawn is now the only hope for the continuation of the human species and earthly life. Ah, oh, so they did have a, uh, an off-world attempt. Can't carry more. More potions, full on both. So, this one Artemis hunting. Uh, if those words can still mean anything, being positive. Had my sleeves rolled up negotiating with frozen zoos for their sample, so many species trapped in ghoulish hologram dioramas suspended in what ifs more than 14,000 that went extinct between 2000 and 2043. Um, already being too many too late. Uh, we lost a whole collection team during the swarm breakthrough in Myanmar. The samples we lost were irreplaceable. Thanks to you, the circle of life will bend, not break. The earth was a lifeless rock before, and someday it will be again. But not now, not like this. Not an hour, watch. Alright, so we just need to check this desk. Alpha Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside All Mother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Oh. I mean, we saw birthing pods, oh, right? Yeah, it's so nice. There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. Oh, hey.
It's our old friend. Still alive. Good. I have a more suitable death in mind for you, child. <laughs> Sure, I'm glad I collected those logs before activating the quest objective. My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Oh, and it's auto-saving. Even when Jaron was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. And we're going to trophy for discovering the when truth. I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I fail. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. It grew when High Priest Bahavas went missing, and when the true Sun King Item was snatched away. It not only grew, but multiplied. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? <sighs> ah, this is... He's talking about the thing right at the beginning of the game. Which was... Months ago? Uh... It was a hundred hours of gameplay ago. Uh, and actual knots. I guess even a monster like you can have a glimmer of conscience. Oh, this is the only like we've been playing. Turn your face to the sun, child. Dressing up murder as religious sacrifice so you could feel better about it? No. I never doubted the righteousness of killing you. And yet, your words touch close to the truth. In my heart, I deem the order to kill you unworthy of me. You were just a savage girl. So I thought at the time. Even still, I aimed to kill you, and yet did not. This failing troubled my thoughts, haunted every step. It's been a lot of exposition only when I captured you down in that place. That I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain. Meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Meant to eliminate High Priest Bahavas. Meant to snatch Itaman away. I didn't eliminate High Priest Bahavas. I was meant to capture you. Here. So that you might die as a sacrificial well, offering. Just to wait the sun. until I escape. Everything as it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained. Some destiny. You're following orders, not some grand cosmic design. You're a puppet. With Hades yanking the strings, a pawn pushed around by larger forces. It'd be laughable if there weren't so much killing involved. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature joined to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? 
Pretty to ridiculous. From serving an insane homicidal Sun King to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. I'm still alive, and with so... with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then just cage and put your faith to the test. <laughs> See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place. Exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh. To rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the sacred land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas. Why butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Because the network failed. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. I'm sure they'll figure it out. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not blaming the blaming the victim for the your own actions? Events? Your focus, such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. Ah, uh, he sent messages east to kill all of the Nora, and <sighs> it's he can't recall them so even if he wanted to because we time, crashed the network I did so it's our hesitate. fault that they're all going to die the knife has already been that twisted. very 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 boring try um ah this is where we are oh okay um Weird how we were able to talk to him without all of that noise. And how did he get up there so quickly? Karja faithful, rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new, day A new dawn trembles on the horizon. Come on, guys. When it does, the false Sun King will be dead. And Holy Meridian, ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! It's a corruptor. Hey, there's that guy. I remember that guy. Oh, it's several corruptors. Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else could shadows such as these prowl in broad light of day? Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? That's a behemoth? Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring. The Radiant Turan ordered many fates. And now it's a corrupted behemoth. The hooves of the behemoth. Mighty is the behemoth in the eye of the sun. But it is mightier still in view of the power of shadow. Let this one who schemed and slithered be the first to die. Oh, well, this is gonna suck. Let her be the first of thousands. Do I get any weapons? Well, oh, I see there's a, uh... Well, now if I know the one thing about corrupted machines, it's... Well, I know two things about corrupted machines. Maybe I could use the strength against it. Oh, 
Oh, menu not available right now. Awesome. Really planning on dying today. Ah, oh, well, it crashed at one of the platforms down. That's something. Oh, hey, it's my stuff. I accidentally got my stuff back. Yeah. Uh, that was that was a really quick change. Are they cheering for me now? She winked at the camera. Hey. <laughs> she winked at the camera. I fucking love it. Uh, I want this. No, no, I want uh, anti-corruption, please. Stealth is not going to help me here. Uh, do I still have my rope caster? I do have my rope caster. Let's rope cast. Guess who got a weapon back? Now you're just a big dumb target. Come and get it! Oh, I don't have my focus! Oh shit. these blues as well. It's dead. Anyone else want to negotiate? Silence. Yeah, that the quick change. challenge oh, I don't get to kill the corruptors I guess oh hey guess who it is oh, I don't get to loot the behemoth we're on striders The crowd, all the crowd wants to see is a fight. And, uh, I mean, they're getting one. Traitor! Well, that went well better than I thought it might. I mean, we are level 50. One? 51, yeah. We're very over level. So you're here. 
really here. You risked your life. Of course I did. If you'd been killed, the Nora Sacred Mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time, then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. No. no. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I've duplicated every data file. Of course he did! Installing that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. But I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. Wait. Yes? I have several questions, and uh, these are three of them. How did you track my location when I wasn't wearing a focus? I mean... It doesn't take a genius yeah, to Yeah, the sun rang out high on the sun rang out high It's what the, the, the last sun king murdered everybody. Now be on your way. Since when can you override machines? Ever since you discovered the technique. I had to destroy a corrupter to obtain the necessary parts, of course. But your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through your focus. He's been learning a lot. Truth be told, the underlying logic of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by Banuk shamans. Though, of course, far more advanced. Great. You're the, welcome. What the Banuk shamans had plenty of... Um, friendly machines at their camp. Helis recognized you back in the Sunring. You told me that you'd assisted the Eclipse. Not that you knew the man who killed my... who almost Father. killed me. So now you know. The man is a serious threat. So let's do all we can to make sure that he and Hades don't succeed. Right. I'll be on my way. To make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora Sacred Land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with He's me. He's not coming with us. Well, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... Why do I bother asking? You're not going to tell he me. He might. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'm sure you will. will contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Carja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. Oh. You think of everything, don't you? One of us has to. Aloy, when you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn bunker, I was needlessly cruel. Yes, you were. Sake, I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but a who. Yeah! There's not that. We're a clone of Elizabeth. So. Yeah. We're at 99.4% genetic match with Ah, oh, and Uh, uh and we're gonna frame out. Uh See, where are we? Oh, we're over here. Um, zero Dawn alternate entrance. Oh, where's the actual entrance? Um, this is the hole in the mountain, or hole in the sky, one of those two. Um, right, we've got to go back to uh, All Mother. There's not a thing over here saying where it was, but that's Mother's Watch. So we can bamf to here. Uh, if we bamf, we lose our... Um, oh, three skills. And an inventory. 
shadow stalwart. It's, it's even, it's even got a face mask. Steals its wearer against blinding effects. Highly customizable. It's not highly customizable. It has one mod slot instead of three. Highly customizable. I guess it's more customizable than um, than most uh, than most uncommon. Oh, no, even that one is too. Can offers no protection. Can be upgraded. points. Good. Speed up my mount repair. Yeah, there we go. Increased chance for extra resources. Three, six, nine. Twelve more skill points and I've got it all. Uh, I mean, maybe... Twenty-four percent resist shock. What? Sorry, just while we're here. Twenty-four and oh. Oh, okay. They're they've already got they've already got twenty-four. Um. I'm tempted to put some stealth in it because it's shadow. Um, no, I think highly customizable is a uh, is a stretch. Well, we can run straight into these chickens, uh, but I think that's uh, I think that's going to be it for the night. Uh, I do want to save. Um, don't want to do anything in Meridian while I'm here, though. I've got all of this shit to unpack. I've got seven more of those. Well, let's go back to Meridian. We'll find another mount somewhere else, it's cool. Ah, uh, Friday tomorrow already. And then tomorrow is my last week of work. I'm 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 not on a horse. I mean I was. Well, sort of. I was on a strider. I was a strider strider. <laughs> right, here we are at the campfire. 
They sell erotic goods. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Now we have two of the things that this guy wants. I didn't pick up any more of those. Oh, sell those. I'm tempted to just sell the slag shine glass rather than get all the bombs. Mostly because it's annoying. We still need a rock breaker lens. Uh, and we need a stranded figure, which will be Probably in one of the, probably in the hole in the mountain. Uh, so let's sell shit. That. That. Both of those. All of them. That. All of those. Maybe I don't need all this animal skin anymore. Snap more heart, long leg heart, sawtooth heart, stalker heart. Yeah, I wouldn't mind hanging on to that. These things I probably don't need. Shell walker lens, stalker lens, corruptor lens, bella back, ravager, death bringer. Uh, they're probably worth hanging on to. Uh, Uh, all this wood. Uh, yeah, just, uh... Well, I mean, I've got... Twenty-four free inventory slots, so I can afford to wait a little. Sell, sell, this is a lot of frost coils, but I don't know, I mean I probably don't need that many frost coils, who's to say really. I'm pretty sure I only need one of these. I think Larissa told me I only need one of these. Um, but 45 out of 70, oh, I've got space. Oh, yeah, sure, we can. To the uh, back to the fire, and then we'll save up for the night. Or, or we could um, can't fast travel to this location right now. Really, how about this location? So I can fast travel to here. I can fast travel to here. I can't fast travel inside the sacred lands. Interesting. Okay, I can't fast travel to the southern embrace gate because it's inside the wall. This campfire is outside the wall though, so I can fast travel to here. Well... Won't this be interesting? Can't 
can't skip the plot development, no. No, no, I know I can't. Nobody puts plot in the corner. And I'm just gonna save. It's on fire! I've gotta save the tribe. Holy shit, uh, it was 114 hours last time. So it's 116 or something. The Sentinels had time to run the tribe. One hundred and sixteen forty-two. Oh, and cool. There's a uh, there's a corruptor right there. All right then. Well, that's gonna be it from me. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a lot of fire. Uh, I don't know if whether it's from the machines or the, the Nora shooting at the machines. Um, hard to tell. See how things go. Excuse me. Well, I'm gonna make my lunch for tomorrow and then go to bed. Great plan, really. Uh, so I thank you so much for joining me this evening, uh, keeping me company. Uh, it's been, uh, it's been a a great Thursday night stream. We've got some main quests done. That was different. Uh, didn't find that third power source, but it's, I think it's in the, the next... The next bunker. The last bunker. Uh, thank you, I will. Um, well, at least I hope I will. Find out tomorrow. Well, I'll find out. Uh, anyone else who happens to be watching, thank you for tuning in. I'll be back on the weekend, I suppose. Uh, do I have anything on this weekend? I think I have something on this weekend, but I'm not entirely sure. I've got Werewolf on Sunday night, but that's... I'm not usually streaming on Sunday nights. I don't think I have anything on this weekend, but I might have something on this weekend. I'm not sure. Oh, I guess I'll find out on Saturday. Thanks for watching. Until next time, drive fast, take chances. Bye.